What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. It's gonna be a really great video where we're working on not one, but two Denali's. You guys heard me right. We've got the 2020 loaded up with an empty gooseneck awaiting its load, which is the 2016 LML Denali. We're gonna be loading them up to take them down to Peach Bottom Auto Body. We're gonna be leaving one there and we're gonna be working on another one while we're there. It's gonna be a really cool video where I'm gonna introduce you guys to some of the changes that are gonna take place with the 2016. I know we haven't made that much content about this truck quite yet, but bear with me guys, we've got some really cool ideas in store for this truck that are gonna make it super different than what it is right there. Part of those changes involve Sean, part of those changes involve a wrap that we're gonna be doing, and some other mods that I might talk to you guys about a little bit later in this video. Now in the meantime, we got a lot of work to do. We gotta get this thing loaded up, secured and strapped down and ready for its hour and a half drive down south. It's the double Denali delivery. Let's do it, boys. Dirty Max delivery service? Did Hell somebody yeah. order double Denali's? I heard the double D's. Oh, we got, we got double D's up in here down at Peach Bottom Auto Body. And I heard you got some wheels too. I got some wheels. Surprise wheels up in the back of the Denali. Wait until you guys see these I things. was hoping for them to stay on Blackjack. I was hoping for them to stay on Blackjack, but I guess what, what you got fits I appreciate a little... you letting me borrow I mean, for a little while. I thought they looked pretty sweet. You know, I that... thought they were pretty cool too. We were trying to change the game, but everybody seemed to disagree with our... Oh my gosh. The our, color... our vision, we were, we're, we're so ahead <laughs> I know. that people just can't keep up That's right That's right. The comment section blew up after that. You could tell nobody watched the video the whole way. Everyone was like... freaking out, dude. <laughs> And I was like pretty convincing too. Oh, I, yeah, I know. I'm not gonna lie. I had to. If you guys don't know what we're talking about right now, it's when we put we we basically tricked you guys into thinking that we put Sean's 22 by 12s on blackjack before the specialty forged wheels arrived. And I can't even lie, guys. I took that segment probably about five times because I kept laughing like halfway through. Like, how am I gonna lie to these guys like in broad daylight? And I finally nailed it. Yeah, that was good. And was, I rolled was, with it. And, and you guys were completely convinced. I watched that with my fiance and when we were watching it, she was like, did you sell your wheels and not tell me? I'm like, he was pretty convincing, right? <laughs> yes, yes. We did it, boys. We did it. That's awesome. So yeah, guys, welcome back down to Peach Bottom Auto Body. Here's Sean Peachy Cummins on Instagram. Go give him a follow because this is the man, the myth, and the legend that makes all of our trucks go from normal trucks to like works of art. Oh, yeah. So we brought two Denali's down to Sean today. We're going to leave you one, which is the black one, which is unnamed by the way, right now. We got to We got to figure out a name for that thing. <laughs> Guys. So, uh, any names for the Denali right now, here's your first shot at getting your contribution. If you do have a good one, drop it down below. They're going to get a small little look as to what my conceptualization of this build is. Uh, and we'll go over a few of the minor details. We'll throw them a few bones here before we leave that truck. But today's video is primarily focused on the 2020. Sean's had some things in the works here over the past and like a month. Yeah, I, I, I'm slacking. No, you're let's, good. Let's just you're be honest. Good. I haven't actually revealed what it is that we're gonna be doing today. Do you wanna tell him? Yeah, yeah, so we're getting rid of those ugly ass fender lights that GM decided to put <laughs> on the side. I don't know. I mean, I guess in theory, around a black fender well, it might look a little bit better, but as soon as you put the paint in match, it's like... It's like one of those pimples that just doesn't go away for sure, a while. Yeah, and then you hope that it goes away for like your big debut, like your first date, and it doesn't. Yep. <laughs> so we decided to collaborate with Clears Manufacturing. They offer a really awesome, completely clear lens that's gonna go in place. So we're not gonna totally delete them off of the fender flares. You would think, being that I came down to a body shop, you might think we were just pulling them off, we'll bondoing over them, or whatever the case <laughs> was, filling them in, sanding them down, and then painting them but rather we wanted to do something completely different. So we partnered up with Clears Manufacturing. We're gonna show you the lights here in just a second. We gotta get everything unloaded. I gotta take No Name Black Denali off of the trailer. Gotta disconnect the trailer over there and then we'll get the truck inside and start getting to work. Hell yeah. Dude, real quick, you know what you gotta check out? Look at the uh, overload spring crying for mercy on the Denali right now. You can't handle the double Ds. Dude, the double Ds are just too much. They're rocking oh its world. Gosh, it's like... completely maxed out. I even put the truck on backwards to distribute the load a little bit more evenly over the axles, but there's gonna be an update at the end of this video, guys. I gotta give you some more information that I got from Kelderman. We've been talking with them, as you know. We intended on doing a lift kit on this truck, but I've got some some small little updates there, but that'll be at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Guys, by the way, if you're about the double D Denali situation here, give this video a big thumbs up. There's a huge conflict going on between Sean and I right now. Is it Tanau or? Tanya. 
It's Tanyu. It's definitely. It's Tanyu. Where did you get it? Where did you get that from? <laughs> dude. Is I've this, never heard that before. Where, where are you from? Dude, dude, you're from south of the Carhartt line, brother. Oh my so gosh. that might have something to do with it. A little I slang. Know. I don't even know. Tanyu cover? Or, or Tanyu? Tanyu. Tanyu. <laughs> Comment below. What is it? I have no idea. And good luck trying to spell that with the way that we're pronouncing it uh, below. Who knows? This is gonna get interesting. Got you that fresh polish, brother man. Dude, they look great. And finally, we've got Sean's polished wheels back in his possession after after they were sitting up at the shop for a little while. It's just, uh, he's kind of having a hard time getting them to fit <laughs> in his Durango over here. But uh, we're gonna make it work. And we gotta disconnect the trailer and then we're gonna start working on this thing. Before we go any further in this video, I wanna thank today's video sponsor and it is Squarespace. So remember how last time I talked about Squarespace, I was in my kitchen? Well, now today my office is, well, in my office, but it's in my house. Here is my central command station. I get to work from home whenever I want to because I've built a brand for myself online. Now I've been encouraging you guys to take advantage of the 10% off that Squarespace is offering all of you because you watch this channel, but the question is, have you done it yet? And if you haven't, the big question is why? Ask yourself, are your dreams important? You're probably gonna say yes. Do you wanna do more of what drives you? Probably. Are you fed up with the grind of doing things that you're not 100% passionate about? Probably. I don't wanna assume those answers, but if you said yes to those three questions, here's what you need to do. Head over to squarespace.com and check out their free trial. There you'll be able to explore their creative templates and everything that makes your website building process extremely easy from building the actual website to claiming a domain. And once you've figured all that information out, head to squarespace.com slash dirtymaxjack where you're gonna get either 10% off your first domain or your first website. Seriously guys, you gotta realize if you wanna do something more with your only life that you have to live, then you need to be the one that gets behind the driver's seat and mashes the throttle. Nobody's gonna do it for you. Nobody's gonna make your dreams come true other than you. Next time you have a chance, look in the mirror and ask yourself, is this really the life that I want to live? You have every day to tell your story, but are you writing the story that you want to be told? Yep, I think that's good. And the paint is holding up like phenomenally well. If anything, I get worried about OEM paint versus the paint that you do <laughs> just because I just because I know you double up on the clear coat and everything like that. And it really does help. I actually haven't even looked. I think no, I have one little... That's, that's not even a chip. No. That's not a chip. No, it holds up really great. Yeah, we've been driving it. The mirrors are holding up awesome. The lights look su super sick. I love how these turned out. And speaking of doing it a little bit different, let's see these lights, dude. Oh, I cannot wait to see them. money, the pressure be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. A phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be So ladies and gentlemen, we are deleting off that awful orange fender light off the truck with our own little custom concoction of what we feel should have came on these trucks from the factory if they wanted to include a fender light. The orange light just didn't work at all. It's very out of place. So we got some lenses from Clears. I'm going to put them down in the description below. They were nice enough to send out one of their brand new products here for the 2020, but we decided to take it a step further on the OEM lights. We'll take this over here just so I can show you guys. The OEM lights actually have an orange lens and then they have an orange housing on the back. It's that housing right there there. So when you get these lights from Clears, they actually come with a white housing, but we decided being that we were pulling them apart to reuse the OEM ones, it really doesn't matter either way because they were sealed very nice. But being that we pulled these apart, we figured we had some extra OEM ones laying around. You can see we're messing around with some tint and seeing how we could make these things look. And we decided to reuse that back OEM housing. But long story short, we did not want to paint over the OEM lens because it is orange. And ultimately, you would have still seen some orange lighting on the fender after the paint. So what we did was is we printed out some decals, put them over the GMC that comes factory in this light, and then applied a bunch of layers of paint. Now, we're not really exactly sure how these are gonna look quite yet. We did take some precaution and Sean put down about four or five layers of paint and then a clear coat over it. And you can see it just came out looking incredible. It matches very, very well as well. It's gonna look super good in place. Kind of gives you a uh, an after to the before. So it's gonna ghost out these lights completely. And we're not sure actually if this lighting element underneath is orange or if it's clear. It could be clear and it shines through an orange lens or it's orange and it shines through an orange lens. 
We just don't know and only time will tell. So there's a 50-50 chance that this GMC is gonna illuminate orange. There's a 50-50 chance it's white. And then there's a 50-50 chance that some lighting could actually come through the white as it is a pretty transparent color, but only time will tell. So we're gonna go ahead and get to work on these. And we'll see the final product here shortly. I cannot wait to see this final product. It's gonna look so good. is complete. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the new look for the fender flares on the 2020 Denali. They turned out awesome. These things really aren't all that easy to install. Granted, it is kind of easy. It's just time consuming because if you guys can recall when we switched these from the factory textured black to the factory paint match ones, there's like two clips every three to four inches. So if you can do the math, I mean, it's like 30 or 40 clips and they are really in there. The front ones aren't all that bad because you can actually reach most of them once you get the felt fender liner out. But the rears are a little bit more challenging because you actually have to physically pull a majority of about 75% of this flare off in order to gain access to the bolts. But everything is all said and done. Now we have what is probably the sickest OEM plus mod we've ever done because I'd like to say that these are the first ever, thanks to Peach Bottom Auto Body. We had a few options when we were talking about the routes that we wanted to go. One, we could delete them completely. Two, we could paint over them completely and then just let them shine through. Or three, was to allow a little bit of accent contrast by doing something like this. And it was actually Sean's idea where he said, hey, get me some decals from your decal guy. I'm gonna put them on and then paint over them and peel them off and you'll have GMC in your fender flare. And obviously these guys down here know what they're doing because the paint match is literally perfect. There's a quick look for you guys from a side view. And I wanna show you guys something real quick about that. So now we're lit up. Our bet before was 50% chance they were gonna be orange or white, and obviously they're orange, and then 50% chance there's gonna be a little bit of shine through with the paint or not. And there's a very, very small amount. Now, we actually had lit these up just beforehand just to see what the result was. Sorry, we were a little bit impatient. And we found that there was a small amount of glimmer here behind the actual edges of the light. And that's happening because the inside of this fender flare is also painted. So the light from the back end is actually shining up and through and then out. It's kind of a, a little mirror or reflector. So Sean had asked, he said, hey Jack, do you want to leave these down here so I can put some more paint on this up here, down here, and of course across the front so we prohibit any of that shine through. But honestly, I really don't mind it. I actually kind of like it a lot. What's cool about it is, is it really calls out the focus here on obviously GMC and it's almost like a little backdrop, like mood lighting for our customization and I really, really like it. Now guys, be mindful of the fact that on some darker color vehicles, that shine through actually might not occur, but white is a pretty transparent color. Sean had put four to five coats of paint and then clear coat on these, thinking that it would be a sufficient amount to prohibit any light coming through, but come to find out, it takes a little bit more than that. Like I said, he offered to spray some more on it, but I honestly really like it. I think it's pretty cool. Now, one thing that I found interesting, Corey and Sean were talking, Corey's the other master painter guru here, uh, and he was saying that if we were to do this again, you actually might be able to lay some black on the lens and then paint over white multiple times to reduce any of that transparency. So FYI, if anybody decides to do anything like this, there's a small little piece of advice that might reduce some of that glare if you decide to go forward with a mod like this. I really liked how GMC put their logo on these lights. I thought it was really cool, but I didn't think it was all that apparent. Now, we've got a one-off mod that I really, really like. And honestly, I'm really happy that they're actually still orange. I'm not a fan of all white accent lighting on trucks. I was actually kind of a small part of me was hoping that they would say orange. So I'm super stoked about that too. Again, I wanna to send a huge shout out to Clears. You guys have to check them out. Their information's below. 
They offer clear lens solutions for an array of different vehicles. They just started with the 2020s. They're very big in the Denali's, like the older generation, like the one that we brought down here. And they've got a lot of other clear lighting solutions for headlights, for example. So this light right here clears manufacturers a clear lens. So if anyone was to ever pull this light apart, they could actually take this amber lens out and replace it with a clear one. A lot of you guys like to get rid of those small little orange accents throughout a vehicle. Somebody like clears that makes that possible, which is super cool. Personally, I'm just all about about my little orange accents. I just love maintaining that nice, fresh OEM facade. I'd say we made a significant difference here, guys. What do you think? It's crazy how one little change can make such a massive difference. I know I'm preaching to the choir, all of you being the choir because you watch this YouTube channel, but it's the little things that go the longest way. <clears throat> it's tight, boys, but she fits. <laughs> All right, guys, we're connected back up to the gooseneck and ready to rock and roll back north. Actually, just kidding. Just kidding. I just realized that I didn't put the front jack stands up. We'll get to that in a second. I got distracted by wanting to show you guys these things lit up. Check them out. They look really sick. Super minimal, super clean, super OEM plus simply built. That's all we try to achieve here on the Dirty Max Jack YouTube channel. All right, now before I get too distracted, I should probably put these things up. <laughs> So as of right now, Sean is currently busy with a customer, so I just want to let you guys know that the Denali is going to hang out down here for a little while for him to basically work his magic. The Denali hasn't been getting all that much love on the YouTube channel, only because I've been so torn about what direction to take this build. But fortunately, at this point in time, I know exactly what it is that we're going to accomplish. It's going to involve a little bit of paint match. It's actually going to involve some vinyl wrap, which is pretty cool. That's going to come at a later date. It's going to involve some suspension component changes and a really sick set of wheels and tires. Unlike like any other set of wheels and tires we've ever done before. We built so many amazing trucks last year on this channel and this year I wanted to take a step forward but a step to the side in the sense that I want to do some things a little bit different. There's a lot of different ways to build a truck, the configuration, the wheels, the tires and how they look overall. Well this truck's going to be something completely different than anything we've ever done. I think you got to get some polish wheels for that trailer. Oh my God, another one? I know, I know, I know, I need polished wheels. I get it, I get it, I get it. But it's a lot of work to maintain. I need you guys to realize that. The black ones are just so easy. How do you blame me? And the Dirty Max Jack transportation objective of the day has been complete. The Double Denali Delivery Service, AKA the Double Ds, are just down to one single. All right, what a productive day thus far, guys. We got both Denali's down at Peach Bottom Auto Body. We've got these absolutely sick new side markers installed on the Denali, and there's a quick look at a distance for you guys. You can barely even see them. You gotta look really closely, but as you get closer, you tend to say, oh, what, wait, what is that? Is that, is that, is that dirt? Uh, oh, oh, it's supposed to be like that. Huh, fancy design thought there. Seriously, Sean, great job, dude. Love how they turned out. So I wanted to give you guys a small little update before I end this video on the Kelderman lift kit. I've been working with Casey over at Kelderman. He and I connected out at SEMA. Absolutely awesome guy, representing an absolutely awesome company. They've been working on the four to six inch lift kit that I've wanted to install on this truck for a while now, but I haven't really given you guys many updates because basically they've just been working on it. So I just got information that the four to six inch kit actually isn't quite four to six inches. I'm just going based off the information that I was told. Rather, it's more of like a two to three inch lift kit. It's really designed for people that are out there hot shotting that are pulling, but are looking to get a little bit of a bigger tire under the truck, etc. Now I'm kind of posing the position where I don't really know if that's gonna satisfy what my wheel and tire requirement is going to be. I wanted to do something that's not been done on any of these 2020s ever before, kind of like when we put this wheel and tire set up on it and made it work on just, well, cranking up the keys. So we're in a little bit of a situation right now. It's not a bad one by any means, but it's basically like we have to just decide what direction we really want to go. So I'm currently talking to them about a seven to nine inch lift kit, but we're trying to figure out whether or not that's going to work for our need, especially with towing the gooseneck, because that, as you guys know, is my tow pig, my dedicated tow pig. Or if that two to three inch lift is actually going to get us adequate room for the tire that I'm looking to throw onto the truck. Now, when that happens, I'm going to end up doing a different set of wheels and tires. I just don't know exactly what. The question is, should I keep them polished or should I go black? I don't really like brushed wheels. I'm not a big fan of those. So is it one or the other? And then is it flat face or is it concave? Drop a comment below. I feel like the polished wheels really complement the Denali styling because it's a Denali. It's kind of like the flashy trim of the Duramax suite. But then again, black wheels are just super kind of stealth and kick-ass in my opinion. I love both. I think I like the maintenance factor 
the lack thereof for black, but I think I love the, the elegance and the premium styling of the, the polished wheels. So let me know what you guys are thinking below. And if you're excited about what's to come for the 2020, definitely tap that subscribe button. I know we've been kind of lacking content there a little while as we're juggling now 8-ball, as we're juggling Blackjack, which you guys should definitely get entered for, and of course the new Denali, which we need a name for. Now speaking of names, I wanted to just clarify some things on 8-Ball. Growing up, I had a pool table at my parents' house. It was awesome. I got to play pool all the time with my father. It was something that we did to spend time together. And 8-Ball, although this truck isn't black and white, it still has the same color properties as the 8-Ball, maybe a little bit more white than black. But, I mean, I guess if you wanted to argue, you know, I, I, could, be, I could be the Q because, because of of obvious reasons. But seriously, all jokes aside, have you guys never seen an eight ball like this? I mean, technically, if you guys wanted to get technical, that that's an eight ball and uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But seriously, uh, eight ball to me is a really awesome kind of analogy for this truck because of the fact that the eight ball in the game of billiards is what wins the game. And ultimately, this is going to be a truck that's gonna win the horsepower category out of any truck that I've ever owned on my channel. And that's ultimately why I like that as kind of an analogy and reference and a naming convention for this truck here specifically. So I just, I saw a lot of grumblings in the comments in the last video, and I get that you guys think that it's something in regards to something that's a controlled illegal substance, but it's not. I try to keep my content completely PG, and I would never want to condone anything like that. I just found that 8-Ball was really cool and very symbolic, not only because it's something that I'm passionate about, because I love the game of billiards, but because this is kind of representative to that. So that's my explanation. You guys can refer to it however it is that you want, but that's why I like 8-Ball more than Ramrod. Ramrod kind of feels just like a toy name, whereas 8-Ball uh, is, is definitely something that has impact, that has meaning, and it delivers a lot of value in its specific setting. So anyway, guys, I'll keep you all updated as to what we're gonna be doing with Kelderman. I'm probably gonna request a lot more information from them. We're gonna do some measurements, and we're gonna ultimately be able to see what we'll be able to accomplish. Now, regarding the 2016 Denali, we'll probably end up going down to Sean at Peach Bottom, getting some updates on that truck this coming week. Plus, the fuel mods came in for this truck. Now we're just waiting on the air mods. I'm probably gonna tease that on Instagram a little bit later this week if I haven't already. Trust me guys, it's gonna be incredible. Not only are we gonna do all of the power stuff, we are gonna be working with Firepunk Diesel for the tuning and the transmission specific tuning and work. So we're probably gonna be making a trip out to Ohio at a given point in time, maybe in February, maybe in March to knock that out as well. And then hopefully get this thing ready for the upcoming year. And then of course, uh, from an exterior styling perspective, things are gonna change. The SRT seats and the tint are awesome additions to complement the wheels so far. This has been a super fun project. I have loved it. As you guys can see, my wife ordered more packages. So I should probably get those inside. Plus a new set of tires have arrived and they're really actually super dirty, which I'm kind of a little bit bummed about. So. New tires, very dirty. It is what it is. But uh, yep, these happen to be for a specific truck that we have on the channel. So with that being said, grab yourself one of the new limited edition hoodies that are up. It could be your entry to take home Blackjack, the eight inch lifted G56 Cummins. It's an awesome truck and you'd look great in it. But likely go love you guys, do what you best. Tap that subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you all in the next upload. Love is love. Love is love. Hold up with it, got my back on pippin'.